the coolest student in school. However, his name might be followed with this question, which I'm sure Shelby would enjoy because she's probably going to be the one doing answering this, but just call me a vampire every day this year. Oh. probably pull a Levi and just roar and scare them away seeing as I'm sure he's going to look like you with a mohawk gothic makeup and basically just be your high school plum. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm done with the verbal bashing. Let's move on to the compliment part. Faulkner, you were the funniest teacher I've had in years, not to mention your deep, cute style, minus the hair because, well, we don't have any. <laughs> I remember the first day of school, you walk in, your shiny bald head lined with salt, your tan suit, black button-up shirt, matching tie, and your white sneakers. You then proceeded to give us our very first lecture on the proper, proper stapling etiquette. <laughs> Go with the flow attitude, your compassion, and your insane controversies made English fun. The school made the biggest mistake by giving you the boot. They should have nixed all the old geezers and kept the youthful ones instead. Amen. Maybe your baldness confused them. <laughs> you should have walked in the administrative building, pointed to your head, and said, this is a choice. <laughs> it is a choice, right? <laughs> all in all, Faulkner, you rock. And on our senior skip day, you can expect your fourth period class, first and second semester, all knocking on your door, demanding or in Levi's case, roaring for another epic controversy. Next year, won't be the same without you, my short, bald, nerdy friend. So there's only one sentence left to say. Take care, keep in touch, try a little Rogaine. <laughs> <laughs> Come the next